Many of us will never get the chance to venture off north of the Arctic Circle, but if you do, you'll notice that there's a lot more than just polar bears in Santa Claus. From Russia's top secret military base on a remote island to some of the oldest fossils in the world, here are mysterious things found near the Arctic Circle. Are you guys ready for another action-packed American Eye video? Let's get on to it! Number 13. Mysterious Holes In April of 2018, NASA scientists were a little bit confused when they came across these strange, mysterious oval-shaped holes in the Arctic ice. Researchers claimed to have never really seen anything like this before, which led to quite a bit of speculation. Some believe that animals such as seals or whales have possibly caused it. Sometimes these animals attempt to break the ice by surfacing while they try to get a breath of fresh air, but that wasn't the only hypothesis. Another scientist believed that it could have been from a warm spring that was leaking water from the ground, but it's tough to say for sure. Maybe they're actually entrances to underground cities filled with aliens? Who knows? Number 12. Watermelon Ice Pink snow is known to happen at high altitudes in places like the Himalayas at northern latitudes. But what on earth is it? The Arctic was originally described by the British explorer John Ross in the early 1800s. There seems to be quite a bit of mysterious snow in the Arctic in recent years. Originally, it was believed to have been a chemical reaction from meteoric iron deposits, but recent studies prove otherwise. Biologists now came to the conclusion that the watermelon ice is actually from a chemical reaction with a species of algae that loves cold weather. In its original form, it's actually green, but as it begins to absorb UV rays, it turns to a reddish color that you see in the photo. The strange algae is actually beginning to bloom, and some claim that this could be a reason the ice caps are melting at a faster rate. Number 11. Presbyorus Fossils These are the remnants of a giant bird that was actually roaming around the Arctic around 53 million years ago. During that period of time, this land was actually swampy. This creature was a six-foot flightless bird that was believed to have weighed about several thousand pounds and had a head the size of a horse's. Originally thought to be a carnivore, these birds were most likely vegan and feasted on nuts, berries, leaves, and seeds. These toe bones were actually found on the isolated island of Ellesmere, which matched the bones of the presbyoras found in Wyoming. They're the first fossils that would suggest that they actually lived above the Arctic Circle. Number 10. Baffin Island Vikings after archaeologists found evidence of Vikings in Newfoundland, they began to wonder where else could these wanderlusting people have possibly lived. They began a never-ending quest to find more evidence of past settlements all over North America's east coast, hoping to come across more proof of past Viking life. After many failed attempts, archaeologist Patricia Sutherland finally announced strong evidence that there could be another Viking outpost in North America on the Baffin Island in Canada. This is located just west of Greenland. This type of technology and metalworking was often made by Vikings and unknown to many of the Arctic native inhabitants, making it rather rare and unique find. It appears to be the first known evidence of high-temperature, non-ferrous metalworkings north of Mexico. Number 9. Earth's Oldest Fossil In March of 2017, archaeologists believe that they had found the oldest fossil ever which would have put the origins of life at 4.2 billion years ago off the coast of the Hudson Bay. Here in this photo, we see the photo of the fossil that was discovered. It's only the width of a human hair and is best seen under a microscope. Not only is this crucial for understanding our history on planet Earth, but also life elsewhere. Some scientists hypothesize that this fossil or species of bacteria could have actually came from Mars, believe it or not. During this period of time, billions of years ago, Mars was bombarded with comets and asteroids which would have sent rock and debris from Mars into outer space. Some of the debris with microorganisms might have landed on Earth and was possibly able to survive 33.9 million miles. Mars at this time had a much stronger atmosphere and even oceans, so who knows how this fossil got here. It's also possible that hydrothermal vents were developing from impact craters, giving Earth's oceans more nutrients. The bacteria feast off of iron oxidization, which could have easily survived off the rocks of the red planet. Number 8. Glacier Girl this mysterious plane we see here was discovered in the ice sheets of Greenland. The plane was found near a U.S. military base where it was trying to land, but that was easier said than done. Trying to fly in one of the most inhospitable climates certainly can't be easy, and it's hard to imagine even trying to have a runway clear from snow. In July of 1942, a squad of planes left from New England to head east over into Greenland, where they ran into bad weather. A massive recovery effort was made, and the pilots were okay, but the planes got to stay. No one returned for the aircraft for over 50 years. 
This P-38 was recovered using radar in 1992, and it was 268 feet deep into the ice. What else could the ice sheets of Greenland actually be hiding? Number 7. Inuit Baby Mummy When researchers came across this mummy in Greenland, they had originally thought it was a doll of some form. It turns out they were completely wrong and it was the body of a baby. But that wasn't all they discovered. There were essentially six women stacked on top of each other as we can tell from this illustration, and the mass tomb also contained clothing from seals, reindeers, and other items which displayed fashion around 1475 AD. The icy conditions of Greenland were enough to preserve the bodies and the ones around it. Number 6. The Yuka Gear Bison This photo here gives us a rare opportunity to see what an extinct animal would have looked like with incredible accuracy. In 2011, remains of the preserved Yuka Gear Bison were discovered in Siberia, and scientists quickly examined the specimen to learn as much as possible. This photo here shows the brain scan of the mummy, which is remarkably preserved. After a thorough autopsy, they determined that the animal may have died of starvation due to a lack of fat that was preserved. Also known as the steppe bison, some of these have also been found in Alaska and preserved in glacial ice. This one we see in particular has a little bit of a bluish tint to it due to a chemical reaction with phosphorus in the body. Number 5. Devon Islands Devon Island is one of the largest uninhabited islands on Earth and is located in the Arctic region of Canada. NASA researchers have decided to come here to test out the Mars rover because it's home to some geological formations very similar to Mars. People attempted to establish outposts here before modern times that miserably failed and has been one of the harshest environments on Earth. It's Canada's sixth largest island, but nothing can survive here except for a meager population of small birds, Muxoskin, and also the largest hypolith population. NASA is also trying to understand the microbiology here. The glacier movements on this island have created a barren, rocky environment which can certainly be found on other planets throughout the galaxy. If the conditions are right, we don't see any reason why Hypoliths wouldn't be able to survive on rocky planets such as Mars. Number 4. Nagorskoye Air Base You might be a little bit surprised that Russia has a massive military base north of the Arctic Circle located in Franz Josef Land. This is Russia's northernmost military base and it's actually been around since the 1950s. Constructing a remote post this far north was certainly no easy task, but it was meant to rival the Americans whose presence was beginning to grow in the Arctic Circle. It's also home to the northernmost air crash ever recorded when an AN-72 crashed here just two days before Christmas in 1996 while attempting to land. Many still believe the air base is in operation to this day and it has the capacity to hold 150 soldiers as well as a fleet of Russian fighter jets, MIG-31s and Su-34s. Satellite images would also make American intelligence believe that other vehicles are being stored here, as well as possibly tanks or armored vehicles. The fortified island helps Russia maintain their territorial claims to the Arctic. Number 3. Hofton Impact Crater Not only is NASA interested in Mars-like conditions on this Arctic island, they're also interested in this massive impact crater on the eastern part of the island. This is the world's northernmost impact crater that they know about, and it's a massive 23 kilometers in diameter. The Hopton impact crater was formed about 39 million years ago during the late Eocene era. It's estimated that the cosmic object was at least 2 kilometers in diameter. Many researchers have tried their best to withstand the frigid temperatures and study the geology here. They also found a hydrothermal system was created when the heat from the meteorite interacted with ice and groundwater down below the ground. Upon impact, many types of rock were also instantly formed, and many soil samples have been removed from here. Number 2. The Svalbard Global Seed Vault If the world were to come to a tragic end, or a certain species of plants go extinct, the Svalbard Global Seed Vault has her back. Located only 800 miles south of the North Pole in Norway lies a vault that has a set goal on preserving plant diversity and holding on to a large amount of seeds in the case of an emergency. More than 400,000 crop seeds are stored here and include seeds for 32 varieties of potatoes. The Norwegian government spent $9 million on this facility and maybe one day it'll be useful. And number 1. Early Signs of Life Many people are wondering exactly when life on Earth began. Scientists uncovered other signs of primitive life in southwestern Greenland in the Sua Greenstone Belt. Thanks to melting snow here, people were able to uncover 3.8 billion year old stromatolite fossils discovered in August of 2016. This suggests that life was beginning to become more widespread around this period of time, and just after that, there were large amounts of microorganisms. Scientists used what's known as UPB circon dating in order to come up with a plausible time period. Stromatolites are layered structures that form in shallow water from mud that was bound together by microorganisms. 
These fossils also had chemical signatures that were formed in the rock that proved the existence of life. These are now rarely found across the planet, and some believe that they are also on Mars. So which one did you think was the most mysterious? Let us know in the comments section. Be sure to check out more of our videos over here. I'll see you there.